I am Daniel Jose Older and I am very, very, very extraordinarily excited to be talking to you today about the Dactyl Hill Squad, which is a ridiculous, amazing book um, about dinosaurs in the Civil War era. Book one is set in New York City and it features Magdalise Roca, who is a young Cuban girl um, who is in the Colored Orphans Asylum at the time of the New York Civil War draft riots. Meanwhile, there's lots of dinosaurs running around the streets of New York, obviously. Uh, so, a bunch of her friends and her end up homeless because their refuge, the Orphan's Asylum, is burnt down in the riots and they're forced to seek refuge in Brooklyn. Um, Brooklyn, specifically the neighborhood called Dactyl Hill, which is based on what was once called Crow Hill, uh, where lots of pterodactyls are flying around. Magdalise is a very special girl. She has a connection to dinosaurs, which she is just starting to learn about when we meet her, where she can actually psychically communicate with them and tell them what to do. So she has to use this skill essentially to maintain her own freedom at a time when New Yorkers of color are being snatched off the streets and sent down south into slavery in the midst of all this political turmoil that the country is going through. So it's lots of different things at once. It's an opportunity for kids to engage with history in a meaningful way, deal with some of the really complex topics, including race and gender, uh, that we still haven't fully confronted as we talk about the different things that have torn this nation apart and put it back together. And it's also about how we look ourselves in the face and confront who we once were and who we are today.